Well, good afternoon all, welcome to the Off Grid Homestead where I am now pulling a second battery out of my 48 volt system and going to be opening that up and doing a balance of those cells. So the first battery we looked at, we opened up, balanced the cells, I've put that back into service. So we are going to do a second battery. But I've just pulled this out and put it onto the solar control, onto the charger. Look at something that's weird happening and I think I know this is causing, or I think this is causing our DC ripple alarm and I think I know what the issue might be. So just have a look at this. So I have the charge controller sitting at, on its settings, 56.8 volts, which is 3.55 volts per cell. So I haven't got the solar turned on yet. So we're going to turn the solar on and I want you to watch the spiking of the voltage here. So at the moment we're at 56 volts, which is what the battery voltage is. So I'm just going to plug my solar panel in. I've got to try and I've got to try and be very, very quick with this. If I can get this in, hook that together. And if we come over here, we'll have a look at this. You watch it spike up once it starts to go. Look at that, it went up to 64 volts before it came back down again. So this is what I think is happening when the battery hits 100%, one of the cells hits at 3.65 volts, shuts the BMS off for that second or the BMS cuts everything off for that short period of time and then surges the controller up to 64 volts and creates that, that spike, hence logging that ripple in. So we are going to drop the voltage to 56 volts and we'll see if it does it again. Right, so I've got into the settings of the charge controller. I've dropped the bulk absorption to 56 volts. So we will plug my solar panels back in again and we'll see. This is so hard to do one-handed. Come on, get in now. One eternity later. Oh, don't you hate when you can't find a hole? Three days later. Come on! There we go. There we go. There it is. Right, that is in. Let's have a look to see if we get any spiking at all on our panels or on our controller. No, we have no spiking at all so setting it at 56.8 volts is not the the battery's not liking that so yeah if i set the charge controller to 56.8 or above it creates that spike so there's obviously a cell there that's down that's getting the the bms is shutting off that cell which is creating that issue so by dropping the voltage down and charging that in the lower voltage allows that high cell not to peak and close off the BMS, if you can understand what I'm saying. Now, I've got to give credit to a lot of my subscribers here because you guys are the ones that actually told me that in the comments. They said, get the voltage down, get to 56, because you're getting one cell reaching that limit and the BMS is shutting off, causing that spike. So absolutely spot on for those people that suggested that. See, I'm even learning. Now, what I'm gonna do with this battery is I'm going to cut this open and then I'm going to do a voltage stress across each cell we're going to see which cell is the cell that's triggering the high disconnect which will probably be the best cell then I'm going to put it on my active balancer here we're going to put the active balancer on it we're going to get these cells back in and balance do a capacity test on it and hopefully we can recover some of the juice that we're missing out on and then that'll be battery two done, and then I'll do the same for battery three. And of course, I'll bring it with you in the video. So, let's cut this bad boy open. A few moments later. Well, this is a little bit different. So I've cut the top of the battery off, and we can see this is a different cell configuration to the first battery. So there's 16 of the 100 amp hour prismatic cells, where the other battery, if you've seen the other videos, had two 50 amp hours in parallel and in series up to the 48 volts so it's a two 
P16S. So this is just a straight 16. Now, I'm noticing at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that, see if you can notice this, it's only slight and it's not worrying, worth worrying about, but they're slightly spread a little bit at the bottom than the top. So we've got some extremely minor swelling in the cells, but I, to be honest, I wouldn't actually really call that swelling for what this is doing and what I've seen in the past. And it's, for its age, it's actually pretty good. Temperature sensor, is that just stuck underneath that? Oh, it's just stuck underneath the tape. Come on, guys. Yeah, okay. I guess it, went, it will register if those two cells get hot. All right. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more of a challenge to get this out because it's all glued in, so I might have to destroy the case to get this out. Right, so unfortunately I'm going to have to cut the box apart, the case apart, because this is really securely placed in the case, which is what you want to see. And I will say, out of all the batteries I've pulled apart, look how thick this case is. This is, oops, sorry about that people, I just hit the wrong button. Look how thick that is. This is the thickest and strongest case I've seen in any battery that I've pulled apart so well done that is a really really solid strong build looking pretty neat here too I will say so what we want to do is I've got to get the back part off without damaging these see even this is all nicely clipped up so neatness yeah I will say for tidiness and presentation on this battery it I'm really liking it. I must admit, I am impressed. Right, so I've got the battery out of its case, and boy, was that a mission to do. I really had to destroy that case. But anyway, we have it out. But what I want to do before I run out of sunlight, which I kind of have, is I want to test the voltage while this is hooked up to the controller. So I've got it set to 56.8, although it's not wanting to go up that high. Um, I guess because we're running out of sun, but we are connected to the controller and For those that are wondering yes, we are on absorption. So we've hit our peak voltage there. Okay, there we go 56.8. So we're at it. Okay, let's do a um, Cell voltage, so I'm going to bring you live so you got to bear with me with this so I need to get this probe under here like this so about that I'm gonna to have to redo this because I was uh, having dyslexic moments and reading it wrong so our first cell is coming at 3.53 our second cell is coming in at 3.52 now I'm gonna move across come on phone there we go I'm gonna move across to this one here and we're gonna keep probing as we go down so our third battery is when this camera focuses 3.34 that's a little bit low or lower than the others our fourth is 3.34 I'm just going to keep moving the probe keep the camera on the multimeter or you're going to get dizzy so we've got 353 next battery is 352 I'm moving the probe to the next group our next one is 353 then we got 353, we move the probe to the next group. So each time I move the probe, I'm just jumping across two of the batteries here. So we're on to this one now. So I'll read that one. And that one is 334. Our next one is 353. Just move across to the next couple. 353. 334 so yeah we are down a little bit in some of the cells so they're a little bit uneven 359 right so that is that cell there so that cell is might be the one that's triggering the BMS anyway let's keep going to the next one see what we find 365 there we go there is a cell oh focus phone come on there we go there is one of the cells that is triggering our BMS. So we're going to test the last two cells because remember it was always the cells that is the closest to... Uh, oh, come on, get under there. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. It's always the cells that are closest to the positive 
that are the issue cells 354 and 38 really 3359 so 36 on that cell there I know you're getting a little bit dizzy but I really do not want to stuff around with tripods I just don't have the time I'm sorry for those people that do want tripods now what cells are in these uh, I do not want to take this tape off let's see if I can move it yeah okay I'm gonna move this tape out the way so you can see the QR code I'm having issues with this phone focusing there's the QR code so if you want to scan that QR code and let me know what cells these cells are and for the BMS let's have a look at it so this is the BMS that is in the battery or on the battery whatever you want to call it so that's the little tag that's on it little sticker I don't know if we're going to get much information out of that but that is what is on it so if I lift up the other end of the BMS here we can kind of see yeah we're not really sort of seeing any QR codes or anything at all on that I need to be very careful here doing this so uh, what else have we got here we go we've also got that on there as well so whatever those numbers mean I don't think there's anything else we can get off this BMS okay there you have it not much info I can give you on there a few moments later so I have my active balancer hooked up to the battery now so I'm gonna leave this overnight to do some balancing and then in the morning I'll hook the solar up to it we'll get some solar charging into it as we have the balancer going now no I do not leave this balancer on the battery permanently I'm only doing this to balance the cells and once they're all balanced and we can do a check to see if we've got any cell issues then the BMS which I don't want to touch because everything is live is going to be able to take care of the balancing hopefully once we've got all the balancing issue sorted out well that is a look in the second battery that we've pulled out of our system now I've got two sheep that have been meleting for the last several hours because they are hungry and they want food so now I need to do the homesteading chores feed the sheep collect the chook eggs water the veggie garden water the pots give the puppy his food then I can go inside and edit this video up and get it on YouTube for your viewing pleasure yeah it's a lot of work doing the homesteading thing the batteries and running a YouTube channel as well but I wouldn't have it any other way I love doing it and interacting with my audience here so we will see you in the next video and have a look at how the battery capacity goes after balancing this battery